I am here to chase the Wednesday, everybody. My name is Wing Chen. I'm here at my favorite podcast. I've only pretty much seen them virtually. And, you know, they've taken podcasting classes, and they have like, the best podcast on the internet. And they're my heroes. And here they are in the flesh, here at Amen. I love you guys. We got some merch for you that we made. And they made merch of me. What is a Ming Chen whimsy token? Right here, CTW chasing the whimsy. Right here. I, I love it. I love it. Welcome to this week's episode of Jason Gormsey. I'm your host, Ben. Here with your co-host, Leon. What is this, what, three weeks in a row now? What? All right, guys. So um, wait, wait, let me let me get kind of an elephant in the room. It might sound a little different. We might be kind of a little quieter, not as home, like, you know, kind of roomy as you, we usually are. But um, we are currently at least... He, he's he's wandering. He, <laughs> he's, he's counting. He's back. We are currently twenty feet away, and at least ten hours away from Chronicon. We are literally twelve hours away from Chronicon. Yeah. Um. So we are currently. Uh, we don't know how this is going to get cut up. So. Uh, Will this be a Monday episode? This is going to be a Monday episode because I can cut all of this together. So let's do, um, as of right now, this episode, uh, what you're listening to right now is us hanging out in the uh, conference area of the hotel for Chronicon. It is currently 4 (laughs) a.m. And what, 2 a.m. our time? Uh, Three hours. 1 a.m. our time. Still, it's pretty crazy. So uh, we are doing a kind of a an intro to uh, Chronicon. What the uh, Uber ride, or yeah, the Uber, the flight, the hotel, the pre-show, everything up to right now. Um, there's a lot of moving pieces for this for this weekend. You have this podcast uh, that's going to come out Monday, so we're going to record probably one or two more times. Friday, one or two more times on Saturday, and then uh, maybe a small wrap up on a uh, Sunday, and then I'll put all of it together. So this will be kind of like a longer episode, but then you're also going to see uh, some live live streams via YouTube and or Instagram probably throughout the week weekend too. Mm-hmm. We did one. How co- <laughs> how cool was it that you did you like shooting like following me around and shooting it? That was that was fun. That was kind of interesting. Um, I feel like we should have brought our camera that we have. Um, I feel like we should also have brought, like, we should have got a disposable camera. Okay. And I have all the extra phones. We can take pictures on all those if we wanted to. I know. But, yeah, I mean, we're here. I literally told my dad, I said, I got in the car this morning. I was like, it's starting to feel real now. Because I was like, it's not going to feel real until we're... In the hotel room, <laughs> and then you slept all day. Um, we got we both slept all day, so um, we the car made it home, so we were able to pack. We showered, we packed. Uh, we we're still debating whether or not we over or under packed. So if we we might have enough, like we packed enough now, but do we have enough? To bring home all the merch, so I think that's the uh, the trick here. Well, um, you kind of have a full bag, right? You could probably fit maybe one or two things in there, like your. Um, I, I can. I have uh, this bag. I left extra open. So let me structure this out for you guys. So I brought a like a little suitcase, um, and that little suitcase is has three 
little pockets that can probably fit like our our collectible coins uh we can probably fold our bags up and put it on top of my clothes like probably because i think they're tote bags um and fold it in there and all our collector coins like the 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 pins the smaller things can go in my suitcase probably but if i get like a funko pop minifigure that's probably gonna have to go into our extra space right that we brought so uh but hey well that's 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 a sunday issue right now it's just about fucking having a good time yeah this is really random you know because usually uh my experiences in hotels my mom you know we me and my mom's side of the family we get there you know it's like we're all tired and you're like just go to bed and <laughs> sleep. still awake i know but <laughs> this time it's, it's like opposite because um he napped on the plane i kind of tried i didn't but i tried um and then we got here and he's like i don't we're probably going to be up till what like five five or six maybe up. maybe even eight i'm not like because but i know me and you are night owls we are night yeah. owls for sure i need to find something to eat so the the restaurant here is going to start opening up at like I think five and six so i'll get something to eat and then i'll crash until noon and then i think we're gonna come down and do some uh some making hay types oh okay so real quick so you have this podcast that you're listening to and broken up into multiple sections a wednesday episode maybe maybe this goes through. ooh, and then you have the live streams then there's going to be all of the bonus recordings that we have so we have the hand recorder we want to go something like tell them steve dave style and do some making hay uh, where we're going to interview people on the floor in the con and then what we'll do is we'll commentate um a, a different episode of of it so there's like a bunch of content coming out of this weekend um Good times, though. Yes, 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 for sure. Um, this is also kind of big because I've never been out of state with my dad ever. Solo. Yes, yeah, so, solo. Because um, we did do a, a Seattle trip. For Go Fest, that was really cool. That was fun. What but else? now it's just like it's me and dad, you know. It's boys. The boys out fucking. <laughs> At 4 a.m. running around. We're looking in Kevin Smith's like the uh, talking place yeah. lobby, uh, live streaming and stuff. But uh, it's definitely been fun so far. Um, uh, so you want to go ahead and kick off uh, the start <laughs> of how our trip begun? Uh, so we got up at, so we both kind of napped until like three. Showered. Uber is going to pick us up at four. I think her name was. Christina. We'll call her Deborah. <laughs> so Christina picks us up. Deborah. And nice lady opens the trunk. First thing she says, I might need you to turn on your GPS also to make sure we can get to the airport because of the solar flares. She said that her GPS is not going to get us to the airport because of the solar flares. This lady was next level, like cuckoo bananas for the 40 minutes that we were there. So, for example, right? Um, that's great. Um, she was, we would be going into traffic and um, she'd be like, uh, let's keep it safe, friends, and like would call the random people on the road her friends. And I thought she was high, like, I thought she was just out of it, like not actually there oh she called everybody human yeah like she was like like next level not wanting to offend anybody so she calls everybody human hold on i got some i wrote uh a it mind was, pocket for it it's also great too because you know the one time like the uber isn't convenient for me because like i just ate i didn't i wasn't thirsty she had water in the uber she had a napkin she had hand sanitizer and not like in napkins and bags of chips in her car for yeah the, Riders and I'm like, why? Like I, I probably should have like just snuck it, just like ate it when I was yeah. hungry. But, um, so she's down here from North Dakota. She just moved down here like eight weeks ago. Six. She said she's been here for six weeks. Really? Why is she down here in uh in our town? What is she looking for? 
Oh, I didn't even listen. She was looking for love. <laughs> like, like I'm not laughing at her because like, it, like it's it's the combination that just makes this lady fucking cuckoo bananas. Her, her voice also, you should have heard. She li- literally sounded like, um, oh my gosh, like the seventies people, like the peace, love, and oh, like a hippie. Yeah, she she's sounded like a hippie, like a oh, hundred percent, one hundred percent hippie. Um, and then. When she would talk to all the drivers when she was trying to get over, and then she said that uh, she thanked us like 12 minutes in because traffic was going really well. And she's like, You guys have good, you have lucky energy. And he's like, You guys are the reason why we're going to get to the airport on time. And I'm like, She's like, It's all because of your guys' lucky energy. Um, and she called us special humans. Like I said, that is 100% hippie level. <laughs> I talk. All right. And then. And then she asked what we were doing, right? I said, we're going to Chicago. We're going to go to, we're going to a con. All right, listen, uh, listen here, right? So she's like, we're going, we're, we're going to, we're like, oh, we're going to a comic book convention. Easiest That's way to, the, 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 for, for someone who doesn't know conventions, it's easiest to just call it a comic book convention. And she's like, oh, that's cool. And she's like, who for? And we're like, uh, just the movie director we know. And she's like, the first thing she said is, oh, are you go- going to be in the movie? <laughs> So, I mean, if she doesn't know what a con is, I guess you could, that's like the easy uh, confuse you can make. But like, why would you think the first thing is like, we're like, we were totally fanboys. Like we were like, oh, we're going to work on this con movie picture. It was, we're going to go to this convention because of a movie director that we like. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden she's like, are you guys going to be in the movie? I'm like, I don't no, No, we're not. No. And he was just like. You know, you had to play it nice. You can't be rude Um, because she was nice. Uh, she was nice. I did give her the five star. She did talk too much, though. She meant well. Yes. Um, But she, uh, she, we were, she was like, uh, we we're just like, no, probably hopefully meeting some of the actors. And she said, even better. Um, But yeah, we got there. Let me get to the airport. Um, Liam's a pro at the airport, man. This guy's just like running by everybody. He's like, just put your, he's like, put your shoes in this thing, get in line. I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> so what happens is we get there, she leaves. He's like, okay, we have like an hour worth of time. Like we can just chill and sit. So we are walking through, we get to, uh, like uh, what TSA. Yeah. Um, uh, there's like a line. There's this old lady, like, there's this lady who's checking her bag and stuff, and this other lady looked behind, laughed, and walked in front of the other girl. And I literally turned around, and I, I was like, Dad, I hate airports so much. <laughs> like, I do, I dislike uh, I hate people, man. So I let, I, I wait, and I let the other girl go in front of me, right? Um, I get my boarding pass scanned, and uh, I'm standing in line. And then I'm obviously going to wait for him. I'm not going to go ahead of him. And then there's this lady who's just like propped up behind me. And uh, this guy moves ahead, like doesn't move ahead really. But she pre- pretended to check her phone to like need her suitcase to be in front of me. I look back at my dad and I shake my head because I'm just like, <laughs> I'm done. Like, like, I really don't care. Like, it's, it's, you can go in front of me. We're gonna be in the same area like that's fine so i i'm like i'm like that with my stuff like literally i put my bag in my shoes and everything really quickly and my dad's like freaking out he's like taking his stuff off really quickly he's like i've never done this before to the lady and she's like sir your shoes and he puts it into some random person's bin and i keep track of the bins and he's like he literally told the lady he's like this is my first time and then <laughs> I'm his son having to like roll my eyes and be like, uh, yeah. And then I have to, I have to get like my brace checked out, make sure there's nothing in there. But up until then, it was smooth, right? And then it's getting, and then you got a little, a little grumpy because you couldn't find a decent seat with no plug. And then you were tired and you were trying to lay down on the floor. Yeah. And then you're like, and then, um, and then we almost, we savior, almost fucked up. Our savior. The girl announced it that the flight was changed seats, right? So he looks on his phone. So a worked. different flight. So not our flight. Some other flight coming in from Omaha was like, sorry guys, we had to change planes. 76 seat changes. 
And then I was, and then it, it triggered me to think I should check my phone. And what happens when I check my phone? So he checks his phone, and we are twelve gates away from where we're supposed to be. We were at a, we were at eleven, and we needed to be at twenty three. So our flight took off in twenty minutes. Um, I ate Panda Express. The Yankees were winning. You know, it was it was great. You know, I was. And then my dad's like, let's go. And I was like, <laughs> like for a second, he's like, are you sure? I'm like, there is nothing on this board. I said, everything. I said, my phone says that it updated the, the, the board the, the, on the screens said that we were moving <laughs> gates. So he's just like, I guess. And I was like, oh my gosh. So we ran over there and then we're boarding already. Uh, I'd like, what I said is like I think we were like a pit stop for them maybe, um, because it was really like kind of actually busy like not busy at all. It was a full, it was a full flight for people going from our town to Chicago, which doesn't make sense, right? So um, then we uh, get on to uh, the plane. Uh, we had to get our bags checked uh, like literally as soon as we boarded, which was fine. Um, we didn't have to wait or anything. It was free. Yeah, it was free. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, but then we are on a plane. I'm like, literally mood changes every five minutes. I wasn't even I'm kidding. So I get on the plane, put my hoodie on, put my buds in, listen to music, put my head down. Couldn't fall asleep. Um, I was watching, he's watching, um, uh, the Winnie the Pooh movie. The horror one. Yeah. So, um. I was like, let me watch. Maybe had it in for five minutes. <laughs> got, got bored. Take it off. And then I found my savior, which was Creed 3. I found Creed 3, which was my savior. Um, and then I watched Ted Lasso on the uh, rest of the way back. Um, that That's my flight experience. What was, what was your flight experience? Fucking... Another pilot was sitting on the aisle, and this was a small plane, dude. Like the seats were tiny as hell. And this guy decided he wanted his arm all over the armrest. So I was like, fuck it. And I was touching him the whole time. I'm like, this sucks. But I knew he hated it more than I did. So I was like, but yeah. yeah. That's how it was with me, too. I was like, Dad, you're a little close. Yeah. But uh, no, I just watched two movies, fell asleep for. Probably you know, maybe an hour. Chicago's pretty far for a three hour flight. You would think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because like the flights I've been to California for like Disneyland, they're longer than this. Than not weren't longer. Maybe an hour less, but Chicago's fairly far. I don't know. But we landed. <laughs> I lost picks in the I lost picks in the in the air in the plane. So yeah. I stayed behind to find picks. So so he's gonna tell you his side of the story, and then I'll. Tell oh, you. that was it. I just went. I, I waited for picks for like twenty minutes. So then, um, literally, I felt like I was life is like life is strange. Like I was on my own character arc. Like yeah. I had to go do stuff. Um, so what I did is, I was just like, "You go. I want to walk by myself." Yeah. So you need some life experience. Yeah, I put my hood up, and I'm like, oh, "I gotta use the bathroom." <laughs> so I went and used the bathroom. And then walked down. Um, I kind of I looked at like some of the stores, like I just looked around, kind of, and then, then that was it. We got the baggage claim, and then it was actually really smooth up until this point. If you think about it, we just had to do um, a little bit of walking to find our hotel shuttle. We got 26 views. Uh, spoiler alert, in about three minutes, we're going to talk about a video that we made, but we got 26 views. Mm. So uh, the shuttle was actually really nice. Like, I enjoyed that shuttle a lot. It was dark. Like, it was nice. I took my shirt off. Uh, <laughs> no, well, I changed my shirt because. Yeah, the shuttle was supposed to pick up every uh, half hour. So we just happened to catch it as it was leaving. Uh, so we didn't have to wait until, like, we didn't wait at all. We just. Uh, we had to get to maybe for like a little bit, like maybe terminal five two. Minutes. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, um, yeah. Got on, got some chargers. He changed his shirt, 
and then uh, we get to the air. Uh, oh man! So Liam turns his phone on, and Ming and Kevin were like, "Hey, we're doing like early check-in." I think we were maybe an hour late. No, I think because you said it, they posted it three hours ago. I, Ming was already at. We didn't get to the hotel until one. Ming was already at the. Not, maybe not one. I think. No, we've not been here for three hours. Yeah, we have. I mean, like, I feel like we've been there for longer than three hours. Like, yeah, I say no because we 12. got here. No, we got here one. We didn't land. We until, landed at the. Yeah. My bad. So, um, but yeah, like I said, it was actually really smooth. Um, and like, I have like an. It's actually perfect timing because I have like I have an itch to like do content right now. Like, I want to talk. I want to podcast. Like. I want to record him, go do whatever. I'm like looking trends up that he can do. With, so what were, um, what did you do with the, the live stream? Well, I was just like, dad, you've never done an Instagram live. <laughs> um, there's like a, if you, if you, okay. So there'll be reels up. You'll see it. Um, the opening sign um, that he has posted right now, um, I think it is uh, the, the Chronicon. Uh, faced with the cartoonish guys, um, oh, the comic book, yeah, what manner chronic? Um, so then we just start walking. Um, uh, he's talking. He's like, kind of running, giving a rundown. He's like, this is where this is. Um, this is where, um, you know, this is where Ming is gonna be. This is where Kevin's gonna be. Um, this is the, some of the vendors. Uh, we walk down. We see where you're, Kevin Smith's gonna do. You're the, my cameraman, so I got all kinds of weird angles. We had a bunch of people jump in for a minute. We had, we had uh, 21 people, and that was our was our peak. And then 300 and like something minutes watched combined. 35 minutes, yeah, not 300. Um, but also kind of kind of podcasting down here so we can scout for Ming. Yeah, Ming's uh, hanging out at a karaoke bar. We ordered some food. Um, He's gonna get food in like an hour. We're gonna yeah, we're just down here just hanging out like. We don't want enough to be in the room so much, but um, that's not so much like the sightseeing. I think some of it was just trying to like just get used to it because I do want to run over and do a an Instagram live or a reel or something. And, and uh, we're gonna, we're I'm gonna you know Liam's gonna be my content creator this week. We're gonna make it fun. Um, we're gonna give you kind of hopefully the best experience from home. Yeah. Um, you know, from at least like, because we had an agreement, like, um, we're gonna have fun first, you know, fanboy, you know, enjoy the the thing. But looking at it now, the room's also very small. Very small. Like the doors, like, like we, you couldn't fit, like it was, it was a tiny, tiny door. Like it couldn't have been more than like, I almost had to turn sideways to walk in. Yeah. Um, Really, really, really small ballroom. Um, hopefully, like, I really do not. I really hope it's not as packed. Um, you wouldn't expect it out of the first day, but the last Saturday is going to look like cra- Saturday is going to look a little crazy, I think. Uh-huh. Um, um, we're leaving Sunday, but we're going to give you guys two, you know, uh, this episode, this Monday episode, we're already at 22 minutes. So we figure if we do 20 minutes, Three more times, so this is like a, it's gonna be about an hour twenty. We'll see, but if like if if more, if yeah, it might go a little bit more, but I don't want to break it up too much into like a Wednesday. <laughs> People will be like, what, what happened on the Saturday? We're like, you gotta wait two days to find out what happened Saturday. Oh, you're we gonna could, break it up? I thought you were just gonna combine. No, it I'm gonna kind of combine so, it all. Yeah. Okay. So this will be like a hour twenty, hour forty uh, episode, and then. You know, uh, we'll do go the look, make it haste style. Go look at our reels posted because by the time you're seeing this, we'll have hopefully three, maybe three to hope maybe ten reels. We're gonna have a bunch of stuff, man. Um, Liam's as long as Liam was is uh, one of the because <laughs> I keep asking Liam questions. It's so funny. It's like, hey, how do I do this? He's like, oh my god, just give me your phone. <laughs> So I just gotta keep asking him questions like, hey, how do you do this Instagram thing? And he's gonna be like, just give me your phone. Um, but uh 
All right, let's wrap this one up real quick. Top three things, top two people you want to see, top one thing you want to buy. Um, well, I want I want to see. Um, I'm just gonna combine the Jay and Silent Bob together. All right. Because they're kind of the reason why I got into the VSQ universe. Because the first movie I watched was Reboot, and it was these two goofy guys. Um, you know. Just running around, uh, uh, having these random adventures with, uh, you know, the the girls in the van, and then they got to Chronicon, and then, uh, yeah. Well, that's just Jane yeah. Barbara, but you can go watch the movie yourself. Um, so that's why I kind of fell in love with the View School universe, and then probably, like. I just want to see like a Rosario Dawson, someone who's just mm-hmm. like, she would definitely be like fun to meet, and she'd be like, I feel like she would make you feel like the best person ever. All right. Um, because she just seems like a genuine, really nice person. And what kind of merch? And then what one merch item are you looking to help hope to find in there? Hat, shoes, jerseys. Nah, uh, probably if there's like a. A really cool like figure that's like a Chronicon exclusive. We could do the a live stream of the unboxing of the the VIP package. Huh? That'd be kind of cool. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, guys. And that Ming Ming. That's a tiny car. Um, all right, so uh, no whimsy on this one yet, but um, you might hear a creepy boochies. Yeah. I want to hear a little static as I shift into the, the part two. What uh, the wiggity whack is up, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have a good night. Thank you. Uh, we're talking to Jason the Whimsy. We're talking to Kelly, hello. my mom. Hello, hello, Grandma. hello, hello. Your sons are out after midnight. How, how is this possible? Get them to bed. Get them to bed. Thank you. Have a good rest of night. <laughs> Rhino hollering, guys. Hello, welcome to the second part of this episode. I don't know. Uh, you guys should have just heard the the pre-show. We arrived last night, walked around, live streamed a little bit. We went to sleep. We woke up. What is it? Friday. Day one of Chronicon. Hello. Well, hello, I'm Liam. I'm yep. still here. Uh, you kind of, we both woke up, right? Uh, you know, it was actually it was such a long day. Um, so the first thing we did is like, Dad, I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, so we went down to this little shop and. Not like 11. Right? Because sort of was earlier, because it wasn't breakfast. No. Yeah, it might have been at like close to 11. How the receipt? Um, but even before that, you know, just shower and get ready, you know. Uh, he got me my ticket. He was walking down there, I think, live streaming. And then he came up, got me. And then I was like, Dad, I'm, I'm hungry. It was at 12 15. 12 15, we got food. But I had to have been down there earlier, right? Yeah, like I just said, um, he was streaming. Uh, go check that out. But then we were uh, standing in line, got our pizza, and then uh, we see some yeah. curly-haired figure, sunglasses on. Uh, Looking all like, like, don't, I don't want anybody to recognize me type get, like, set up. Yeah, but it wasn't like that. Um, Mr. Austin. Uh, uh, so, so, so. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out tomorrow. Um, but cool guy. Uh, you know, we're just we kept it genuine, uh, because he was just like he's like, can I get your names and stuff? Cool guy, and then we're like, okay, we can let you go do your thing. Right. You tried to pay for a drink. Um, he was like, yeah, a little gesture. So, like we kind of talked about on last week's episode, after Liam eats, he goes to bed. So <laughs> I ate, and that, and he's like, hey, you want to come back up here, maybe? Chill until the con, go down there, uh, stream with me. I was like, yeah, sure. But I'm trying to think. I streamed twice today. 
Like I went down there. Oh, because I went because I picked up our our lanyards um, and our bags. This is a long one, and then a long one, and then the inside the con. So we did the the pre the pre game uh, was like the half hour. Uh, walked around, talked to a couple of people, came back up. We went and got food. Then <laughs> we went back to bed. Uh, like we knew the pre party started at four. So I told him, I'm like, I'm going to go back down and start streaming. Some alarms and leave your phone on because I'm not coming back up. Because I was already like, you were happy. Yeah. But you came down pretty pretty early. You came down like three, yeah, three thirty ish. I mean, you you because you got in line. You let me kind of just you know romp around a little bit. Yeah, because I just thought like he's just gonna go walk around. He's not gonna just sit still. So I'm like, let me get like mm-hmm. in line. Uh, got our seats. Watched the uh, pre thing with uh, Ralph Gurman, uh, Gorman, Gurman, Garmin, Garmin. Kevin Smith and uh, Jay Muse. You know. That's the airplane. We're right next to the airport, but it's a nice hotel. The, it's a AC, hotel. the AC sucks, so that's why you really Yeah. Play. It doesn't like want to stay on at all, because there's there's no way it's 69 in here. <laughs> Sorry. Um but you know, they're they're really characters, um, especially Jay. Um <laughs> making funny faces, you know. Having fun on the stage, you know, singing songs, really having a great time. And then Kevin is just, he can talk for forever. He has so many good things to say. Um, and it was just a pre show, and he uh, answered a question that. Question, that was a weird question. You, how, you, the question was, how do you like Detroit? How do you like, like, I guess, we're in Chicago. <laughs> um, I so all right up till that point your concern before we even started all this was I'd be too focused on the podcast how were you today about me live streaming like two and a half hours today uh longer actually a lot longer than two and a half hours um you know especially when I came down the line I'm like did I fanboy enough yeah, I'd, I'd say that. Um, you always made sure uh, I was all, I was always the one who was like here, give him a sticker for our podcast. Yeah. He, he never. Um, I told him to give one to Austin. I gave one to Austin. Um, we wanted Jen on the show. Hopefully, like, Jen Schwabach. That is a like a hopefully, but we'll get into the like the meetings. But I'm um, what I'm trying to get at is it was like yeah, you fanboyed enough, but then. There was parts when you were streaming, and I was just like, go away. <laughs> um, uh, it, was a, it was a good time. I liked it. Uh, part of it's your fault, because you're like, hey, look how easy it is to stream from your phone. And I was like, I got a new phone. I can stream. Um, yeah, inside. Um, I made sure we fanboyed out a bunch. Looked at some. We, we got a bunch of stuff. Did it too. Money. Ooh. Oh, there are so up to this point before we get into the con, there's two live streams. So, um, you guys can go back and look at them. There was a 37 minute one, and then there's like a, like a buck 20, and maybe. Um, but I was just wandering around, just talking to people, hanging out. Um, it was interesting, it was fun. I like that nobody else was doing it, and then nobody stopped me from doing it. Yeah, we'll get into that a little more. <laughs> um, but, so uh, I already kind of went on in the pre-show. Um, that's on his live stream. Uh, but and I did live stream the whole the whole meeting. I hope you did. <laughs> but yeah. so they stopped the pre-show uh, a little early, and they're like, "Let's get this started." Um, because we were supposed to get into the. The con half hour early. Yeah. So he kept talking up to 45 minutes. So we only had like 20 minutes extra inside. Which is fine. We have the 30 extra long. Yeah. Uh, so 
yeah, that it was it was great. So we went to the con. I'm like, Dad, let's go get a holler in first because you expect the lines to be long. <laughs> Which might I add, none of the lines were long at all besides the merch shop. Uh, that was a little long, but everything else was literally maybe the most you will wait is 15 minutes, and that's besides Kevin because Kevin is sexual. Right. Uh, but met Brian O'Halloran. He got his book signed. He did not bring his Funko Pop, um, which is probably good because he didn't want to spend no more money. Got his book signed. That was it. Uh, and then we're just like, let's go straight to Muse. Literally two people ahead of us, maybe. Um, right. So I got uh, my two pops signed. Got my Clerks 3 pop, and then my limited edition Comic Con Blunt Man and Chronic 2Z. And um, a, a selfie. Yep. And he took a bunch of selfies. A lot with a bunch of faces, different angles. Um, but do you think he did that with everybody, or is it because like you're a kid? Was there anybody at the con that you think treated you better since you were kiddish? Kevin. I'll get into that. I'll get into right. that. But anybody else? Uh, Austin. Austin. I think I think Austin loved the fact that you were younger. And um, shout out to the uh, staff because, like I said, um, I have my, my best friend, the guy who literally made all the art for this. Oh, we're no good with names. Yeah. No, he didn't tell us a name, I don't think. We'll get names tomorrow. Um, you know, I said hi to him in the elevator in the, my story that I'm going to tell in just a sec after we get to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, awesome, nice guy. Um, forgot to mention. So after that, um, we went to Trevor, who was right there. Trevor, who plays Elias in yes. Clerks 2 and 3. Um, and we got his, we got my, uh, Elias. Pop. Yeah. Signed. And then right there was Austin. Yep. Austin was nice enough to hand me a copy of his movie, uh, Scary Stories. I almost asked him to sign it, but I was like, no, no, that's not it. That's, that's too much. To take. You know, like, <laughs> to be fair, there was a moment today where I did take something extra. <laughs> like I said, which we'll talk about in a second. You can give your... Uh, so how about this? Uh, so we have Elias, we have Austin. What do we do after that? After them? Oh, uh, the plus one panel came up. Do we see Ming first before the panel? No. no. Okay. Because remember, uh... there are people outside having a good time still. Um, okay, so we went to the plus one. Uh, that was your first great. time. Did you like it? It was hilarious. So um, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but. Uh, Jen Schwabach and Kevin Smith talked for maybe 15 minutes before. Uh, they had a special guest, Harley Quinn Smith, who was late. <laughs> um, and uh, we met Jen before Plus One. Yep. Um, just wanted to say hi. Got a, uh, this, I hope you guys will see the Jennifer Schwabach episode soon. Would you want to be on that episode? Okay. Yeah. Um, will you do homework with me on that one? Yeah. Because uh, we're getting to the big leagues now. No okay. offense, we were kind of maybe in the minor leagues. Okay. So and then we'll end baseball, right? You have the, the single A, which is young, not too good. Double A, getting there. Triple A, which is right there to the major leagues. I'd say we're in triple A. Uh, started off with uh, Kurtzman, Ming, straight to Ryan Johnson, <laughs> mm-hmm. and Ming again. And then hopefully we are going to get a... Uh, so a Jen Schwabach. Austin. Austin. Lee. O'Halloran, maybe. All right, I'll talk to him about this. Um, but, yeah, so after we met Jen, she was um, really nice, actually. She's very nice. Really kind. Um, then we go into the uh, plus one panel. We, I get front row seats while this guy's going around streaming. I'm like, I'm, I want to be front row for this. And you're like, you left your seat when we record and stuff. Uh, Kevin came out. Uh, Jen was very nervous. And they did a very whimsy-like game with Harley Quinn. Yeah. 
um, there was a set of questions like, do you remember this from when you were younger? And um, the, the most funny thing was there was only one mic. Yes. And Jen uh, wanted to talk just as much as Kevin wanted to talk. Um, There's another airplane. We're just going to go ahead and just let you know that we are at Chronic Con 2024. Yeah. Just a couple more seconds, guys. Please. Please. We're up the panel. Okay, okay. So um it was funny, they're all trying to switch off. You know, Kevin talks for forever, um, if he wanted to. And uh, you know, they have their funny laughs, they make jokes and stuff. Good time. Plus one was a good time. Um uh after that, we kind of held off. Uh, checked out everybody, got everybody. That's when we was said hi to everybody. Uh, I forgot Mark Bernard. You said hi to before. I did say hi to Mark Bernard. Um, give him, give him one of our stickers. Tell him to listen. Uh, Ralph Garman too. I'm sorry, I yeah. kind of skipped over. But then um, after that, we went back out, and that's when we saw Ming. Mm -hmm. Ming was very, very excited to see us. I even uh, I took a. He clipped it out of the live stream where he said that we were the best podcast he knows. His favorite podcast. His favorite podcast. Um, but then uh, talked to Ming. Then we kind of side-eyed Zaps like just saying, does he for life? Oh. Um, Agreed. Does he for life? Not like Mike's ever going to hear this. Yeah. Kind of. Um, then we looked around window shop for Sophie. Um, that's when I got my uh, $60 50 in the world. J One in 50. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to look that, see that, it's going to be in our live. Um, and then I saved this for last, uh, kind of, because, you know, it's kind of a conflict. Uh, Dad got yelled at for streaming. Um, so I uh, went up to the Schwabach table. You know, he's like, he's streaming. Every every person, he asked, can I get your permission? Everyone was super nice at high camera and stuff. Um, the manager, uh, manager Schwabach was like, Hey, you can't, you know, right. you, if you've ever watched the video, you've seen the video. If they don't have your permission, don't film. I thought she was meaning like, don't film Jen. And at that point I, I was right. I was still shooting everything else. But later she was like, because the position of the room, if I take, and shoot off screen away from Jen. It was literally pointing right at Kevin's line. And she's like, don't film Kevin's line. So I was like, oh shit. So I was, all, I was, I was lost. So I was, I was really upset. I was like, dad, just give up, put it in your pocket. Um, but he ended up doing that. We then, then we met Jen. That, yeah. that was it. Um, now, now is when it gets interesting because we, we missed the Jersey girl panel because we were finally missing it. Mm -hmm. uh, we came back up to our room. Did we get food? Did you have you ate dinner? Not yet. Okay, my time is all fucked up. So okay, uh, we put our stuff back, and then I'm uh, pretty sure we went back down. Yep. Then we got uh, Marilyn <laughs> because we did not get her first. Um, Marilyn Gigliani. Yeah, and we got. He needs one more say two. We're missing uh, what Jeff Anderson is like. Jeff Anderson. He's the he's our he's our. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get a hold of him. Missing piece, and then Kevin. Um, I should get tomorrow. I will like of all the stuff this weekend. I'm pretty sure no one else has that book being signed. A lot of people have a couple of people have dogma. People have like pops and stuff. The evening list we saw today. Right. Um, that's that's special it's screenplay. Um, but then, uh, I think after that we kind of. We kind of chilled because we had to get a grocery order because we have food for us at the time, hopefully, because um, I'm a beast. No, no. But then we got our food. And then... Talk to your mom. Talk to my mom. And watch, uh, just go with it. She was, she was, like, your mom is still so cool. She's still super excited to talk to you when you're out of town. Yeah, and then... I was like, yeah, we met everybody so far besides Kevin. 
And tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at noon. It was our signature with Kevin. So we uh, came back here, ate turkey. Uh, turkey sandwich. Turkey sandwich. Had some nerd clusters. Uh, goldfish. Uh, like I said, just watched. Uh, just go with it. Then you were like, uh, no, we we were like, um, let's watch. What was it? What came up? What happened? When did karaoke? Karaoke. Karaoke was just starting. Um, oh, it was like nine forty-five, and it started at ten. Mm-hmm. Nine twenty. It just so sorry. So then uh, Kevin wanted to say he appreciated us and stuff. And I was like, not to be a soccer, I, I hope he doesn't listen to this and like think okay. um, I really did not intend to meet him, um, actually, because he went a different way. He went to a different hallway. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, he went through the backstage. Yes. So I was like, okay, I'm going to meet Dad at the room because he's going to stay back and sure. do whatever. Oh, because so. we were watching someone's backs. Me yes, and yes, stuff. Yes. So I had to stop and um, tell him we're going back. Yeah. So then... I'm like waiting for the elevator. I push the button like three times and there it is. And I just like kind of look right. And then he stops. Who's he? Oh, Kevin Smith. Yeah. Um, turned towards me. He's, he's got like a bodyguard um, walking with him and he just comes over and hugs me and says, welcome to Chronicon. And I was like, I really appreciate that. And then I, I was like, um, we're on the same floor. <laughs> <laughs> so like I had to call my dad so I didn't look like I was weird because I forgot my key of course um so I was like dad dad I kind of stuck Kevin Smith and I see him again and then you pop up and you're like no way you hugged Kevin Smith and yeah and then we started talking about like how it's weird that we've seen him in movies and that you meet him in real life and he's just a like just a normal person yeah um that makes movies when you did the plus one panel slash podcast, uh, Liam mentioned that there was only one mic. So there's supposed to be three mics up there working. And it got to a point where only one mic was working. And what would have thrown most people through a fucking loop and into rage, he was just really cool about it. Um, just real nice, you know, just try to confirm, like, what is it? Like, what's the problem, and how do we fix it? Um, and for the most part, I think it went really well. Very whimsy, whimsy, like, like panel podcast, back and forth, like a little bit of like shit falling off the rails. Harley Quinn is telling some fun anecdotes and some fun stories. You know, it was a good day, man. What are you looking up? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, uh, karaoke started uh, to like die down. Not as many people. Uh, he went to live stream. I watched uh, the end of Blended, um, and he was live streaming. Uh, Mark Bernard and Marilyn, so we, Ryan O'Halloran, Ming. How long were we live streaming? Like almost hour fifty. Hour fifty, because the last guy kept us there for a little bit longer than we. we did. I tried to get out a couple times. Um, but yeah, we were just live streaming. Then, uh, yeah, and then that was really it. Uh, Ming said hi again. Oh, who's your favorite person who walked by on the live stream? The green hair guy. Well, no, like the thing about it. Well, Hollering was freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he yelled at my parents for letting us be out so late. Yeah. You know, like I said, they're just real people and like really fun to talk to. And good good people, like I said, good to meet them. Um then met some other nice people, uh that are just uh, like the crew said thank you. And my friend, uh the guy I met on the elevator. But like he was the first person I told that Kevin hugged me <laughs> because they were on with me. But then uh, then we met a really nice guy with Sis Podcast again. Game over, a hangover, game over, yeah. something like that. Um, he was really nice, uh, both of them. And then we had uh, these two twins who worked for there. Um, I don't know if the same guy kept popping up, 
Oh, the irony is we you wanted me to talk uh, to record them last night and we should have introduced ourselves last night. Yeah. Um green hair guy say again, say hi. Uh the guy who makes the art for Chronicon. Um and yeah, that's it's really cool. I always make sure to smile, make a good impression. Uh I guess the like the live stream is weird. But there was some there uh, it was like I made the joke a couple of times. Like every twelve minutes, somebody come over and, and has something fun and interesting to say. I'm laying on the floor doing. What? And, but yeah, it was like it was probably like eight minutes in between. But people came over. They and for the most part, they all hung out, sang sang a song to us. They were singing. We had, I don't know who that creepy guy was. The German guy. Yeah. He kept popping up. Yeah. Yeah, he was weird. Uh, Kelly knows who, which one we were talking about. Uh, it was it was it was fun. Um, yeah, there's a way to do highlights, uh, your stories, and I'll make sure to hook them up on that so you can go back and you can see everything we've done. Um, and it's gonna be right under our page when you when you click follow, and it's gonna say Chronicon 24. And if you go on that, you're gonna see all of our stories. You're gonna see our see our pictures. And I'm sure we'll do a YouTube video uh, combining it all. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and do some, uh, uh, I think, they should let me remix it. So I want to pull out a bunch of clips. Um, there's a lot, like, what was nice is we, we didn't get the recording. Trevor said hi. Trevor said hi. Um, we didn't get all of the... Like the, the the making hay, so until Steve Dave episode twelve, they took a recorder to a flea market and they recorded a bunch of people and then they commentated on it uh, afterwards. But I think we can still do that if we wanted to do the live stream, Liam. Like we can play the live or the streams and we can com like we'll just turn the volume down and we can just comment on all of it. If you want to try to do something like that, but there was a like, there's a lot of streaming. There was a lot of really fun times. A lot of good people. I just like the, like, the saying hi to people as they walk by, like Bernard and like, O'Halloran is like, didn't like sure. didn't go out of like I didn't get all crazy and like all fanboy about it, but enough fanboy to be like, hey, I know who you are. Say hi. That airplane is very close, which is weird. I don't remember hearing an airplane at all yesterday. It's landing right now. Can we hear him outside? Or is it? I don't know. Like in theory, like we're ten floors up. Oh uh, yeah. You mean like seven? Yeah. Seven. <laughs> um. Oh. Uh, on the live stream, I did so my Kevin Smith story. So I saw Kevin Smith in the wild. What was funny? Did he hug you? Yeah, he did no. not hug me. But what was funny was like come around the corner to get to the room, and I watched Kevin Smith walking towards me, and then turns around, and then because he realized like he walked too far from his his room, so I said hey, and he said hey too, and then he went into his room, four away from us. Yeah, like we're staying four rooms away from yeah. Kevin Smith on four six. On floor six. Um, we need to leave tomorrow and see which room it is. So we can just slow you know. But yeah. Huh? I know. It, uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a good day. We got uh, we got some fanboy. We got some live stream. We got a bunch of content that um, some people saw. Um, like it's weird. Because, like, when I think of a bunch of stuff in the live streams, like, during live, but there's a lot of replay in it. So, I think I was probably better off keeping them at, like, 20-minute clips at a time. But it's kind of a huge pain in the ass to, like, end the stream, restart it, you know, uh, retype everything up again. So, um, what are your plans for tomorrow? Definitely meet Kevin, clerk's panel, 
um, evening with Kevin Smith, and then the yeah. stream that night. Stream one more night. Um, and we got to. I mean, this is great. You know, we're watching. We're watching Practical Jokers. Probably eat. Um, and fall asleep. Go to Benson. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to the uh, the crew. Uh, the people kind of the, the behind the scenes people and talk to them a little bit more. I said hi today a lot, and then but I, I think I'm gonna give everybody like a, a minute. Who are you? Where you're from? What's your favorite color? How Kevin find you? Yeah, something. But give them a, you know uh, give them a minute to say hi. Um, that is the end of day one. We got one more day. Box that we have to miss Sunday. Yeah. Um, scale one to ten. So I get flat. I hope our flight gets delayed. Could you imagine? And it gets delayed till like we get home at ten o'clock at night. Oh, like, but then we can't. But we're not gonna be able to come back. Like, if we get delayed, like you're hoping they, they delay us like twelve hours, then we can come back. Yeah, because then my mom can't be like. <laughs> Well, that's the end of day one. Snooch. Whimsy. No. Nope. Except for yeah, there's yeah, no one. Whimsy last night. We said snooch. I know. <laughs> snooch booties. I'm coming to Porticon. Mean Chapman. We got you. We got you streaming on YouTube, Instagram. Right. Look at us, everything, man. You guys are media moguls. You guys are taking over the world. You guys We're are over. amazing. Welcome to Chronicon, everybody. I love it. You guys should step all the time. So we're gonna kill it, man. I love it. I love it. And there's a big giant blunt over here. Okay, well, the Chronicon, guys. Well, the Chronicon. Oh, man, I love this. I love this. Welcome back to the end of night two. You guys should have heard a couple of clips. Some shorts that we had put out from uh, some guests that we saw walk by while we were live streaming. So we pulled some of those for to separate them. So hopefully you guys liked them. I'm a big fan of the bridal hollering one. What do you think? You saw me make three shorts, two Mings and a old hollering. Which one do you like better? Well, a hollering is just the most funny. I mean, Mings, he was like drunk, so I guess that was funny. Yeah. Oh, he's drunk both times, probably, huh? Because that first day we saw him at the con, he was out late the night before. Um, I mean, it's kind of going to be two rebels here after this. So, what do you mean? We have to go on a mission. Okay. We got to. So we're, I told my dad, I'm like, we're pulling an all-nighter because I know me and you will oversleep. Right. And we got to leave in like three hours. So I've had what? This is my second cup of coffee. Yeah. Okay. And then I have two more left so I can go through the night. He's got his monster. And then, yeah. I mean, it was great. I mean, I feel like the highlight of our day was at the beginning of the day. Which was what? Meeting Kevin Smith. Actually, okay. actually. All right. So I got up, showered. We knew uh, Kevin Smith had a signing at noon. Hollywood Babylon panel was at 11. So we were like, we're going to sacrifice the panel. And we were going to sit in line early for uh, the signatures. Sneak peek, though, we actually sat in that panel room for three hours in a row. Oh my gosh, uh, like it was crazy. But so we'll get to that in a second. I went down at like 10 30. No, it was sooner. It was definitely sooner because we started waiting at line at 10 30, remember? Because you're like, hey, we need to be here at 10 30 to wait in the Kevin Smith line. And then you were already standing in line. Because the, the doors opened at 11. We got early access at 10 30. So you were there earlier too? I don't think, I think I was there like, I think, okay, we'll call it fucking 10.30. I, I got down there. And then I called you right away. It was like, you need to get up here. You need to get down here. Bring your shit. And uh, our book for making a sign. Yeah. And uh, we met a couple of really cool guys. Oh, what's the guy? Uh, uh, Crooked Dog Comics. Yes, yes, yes. He was, they were really nice. So there was two older gentlemen and then two younger gentlemen. And uh, we were, we were down there for like an hour and a half with them, saving spots. Um, but yeah, we chatted and we all just kind of just fanboyed out a little bit. Uh, it was kind of nice. 
God, we stood there forever. Like, I, I, like it's so funny because I complained so much about standing and walking. We'll get to that in a sec. But the irony is, is like, I could, I, there was no making me happy today. So we got the signatures. Um, like feet wise, like your your physical feeling. Like emotionally, feet. you're feeling great. You met Kevin Smith. Yeah, my feet fucking hurt, man. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know. Like to be fair, like I haven't walked this much in in forever. Go fast, maybe last time. Well, uh, to be fair, yes, I do go fast pretty hard. Um, but we got the signatures. Oh. Um, nice guy. Uh, told him about um chasing the whimsy. Thinks it's great. Um, I congratulated him on Dogma. Uh, yes, yes. Got our stuff signed. Uh, you just need Jeff Anderson, and it seems like he's not even that as hard to stumble upon as we thought. No, he, he's not that hard. I think part of it is uh, he's Randall, who plays in Clerks. Um, I think it's just a traveling thing. Um, he doesn't want to pay. The, um, I think part of it is I'm sure all of the social, most of the social guests had to fly themselves down, but they were still getting paid for the con. But so. Um, I think it was one of those things where Jeff Anderson's like, I want to guarantee. And they probably didn't want to give it to him for the for year one. But uh, what would we do after signature? We got to run upstairs, drop our shit off. We got Ming first and then we went and came up here. Um, uh, yeah, so I had Ming sing, uh, sign a couple more things for me. And we came up here, just set our stuff down because we're like done signatures, like, uh, I needed mine to dry, and we just didn't want anything to be messed up with our signatures, mm -hmm. you know, leave our bag on accident or something. Right. Um, and then after that, um, couldn't miss the clerk's panel. Clerk's panel was at two? two? Yeah. And two we, we sat up here for actually quite a bit. Uh, we watched some IJ. I was trying to cut some shorts because um, when I was when, when I live stream, because you guys, he wants after it updates a little bit. It then lets there's a, a remix option that lets you remix the video. So I see why you're wearing these now. Are they comfortable? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I was up here. We watched IJ. I made us lunch. We made us a couple sandwiches. Um. And then the clerks panel. Hilarious. Do we get? Do we get VIP seating the whole time? Yeah, we kind of except for the last time. I sat in front by myself because you were like, you're a big boy. And I wanted to sit up front and there was a seat. Um, and O'Halloran's a character. He's, he talks a lot. <laughs> um, O'Halloran is, uh, he's semi-classically trained. Like he went to like a theater school with uh, Marilyn. And when he, and, I, and I know, I've known this because I've seen him on the podcasts and uh, a couple interviews and stuff. I forget how like funny and like his range, like his acting range is. Um, and he's a very smart guy. He because he went into like a tirade about sports teams and one city versus another city and who's doing well and whatnot. Me things, right? So, uh, Clark's panel was fun. Right after that. Um, had, so after the clerk's panel lets out, we he stay seated. He comes and sits next to me because he was behind, obviously. Right. Um, and we just wait literally maybe 10 minutes, 15. Um, and then uh, Shannon Elizabeth comes out. Now, what do you know Shannon Elizabeth from? Uh, the Strikes Backs. But the Strike Back and right. Reboot. Do you know her from anything else? Oh, kind of heard her from like the other things, but before this, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> She's doing some fantastic work in South Africa with um, animal conservation. Um, and ShannonElizabeth.com. Yes, the dot org. Oh, yeah. dot org organization. Yep. Um, so she very nice, very nice girl. Um, what's weird in in this case? So the. Uh, a Chronicon, the the bulk of Kevin Smith's fans are like very typical, stereotypical, like 
definitely like nerdier, definitely on the on the bigger side. Um, I don't I don't I don't know, but most of the questions were okay. And what was so funny was there was like one more question at the very end. They could have stopped it, but they're like, yeah, let's let this other guy jump in real quick. And he gave like the worst question I've ever heard in my life to ask like a female actress. Kind of creepy. He's like, hey, somebody, can you tell us about one of your stalker like incidences? Like, has anybody ever stalked you? Uh, she answered it like a pro. But yeah, that was weird for a second. And none of them are mean, even if he has a stupid question. Yeah. Oh, Liam, how many stupid questions did you hear today? Kind of a lot. And every time I would look at you. <laughs> and it's, it's... So anybody who's listened to Kevin Smith, right? They've listened to a thousand podcast episodes, watched all the movies, watched all of the DVDs. They've They've seen and listened to everything he's ever done. They still insist on asking questions they already know the answers to. And I don't understand it. And it, it, Liam and I were just like, oh, my God, why are we doing this? Um, oh, if we go back to the Shannon and Elizabeth one, did you ask a question? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm literally posting on Instagram. You can see the back of my head. Um, but did you who, who took it? That's two questions. Yeah, but you said you put them on Instagram? Yeah, um, Kevin Smith posted it. Your um, your question? Yeah, I'm on. Uh, I think it was Chronicon for real. My bad. Um, it's the back of my head. Oh, okay. Um, but I I just asked because you know there's store store wars coming out and that's the new uh, Jane Silent Bob movie mm-hmm. and I asked if you were approached and then she just told me to go ask and I said we're gonna wait in that long line and spend eighty dollars to ask him a question. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, and then after that, I mean, I think it's what I was looking forward to the most. Because I'm more of a muse guy, and mm-hmm. uh, speaking of muse, amusing stories, that's the next panel. So, mind you, we sat there for two hours already. Like two and a half, because a couple were running a little bit late. They're always late. They're... Uh, it was a mess, but we, we were troopers. We were handling it. I didn't even wander around. I didn't record anything. Um, that was kind of like a, not a high, but like not a high, definitely, but like a... a Kind of cool that you're just like laid back more today. It was part of it. Well, I said it on the live stream at the, the wrap up tonight. Was I enjoyed live streaming, but it, it wasn't necessarily like a like a, a fanboy versus podcast. It was it's like a respect thing. Is the, the the day one, I was running around having a good time. I'm trying to get everybody pumped, kind of doing my thing. And then day two, sitting with the panels, it was just kind of one of my uh, – I thought it was better. But I just enjoyed the moment, right? Because, like, think about this. In 30 years, are you going to remember this as uh, I live streamed a lot? Or are you going to remember I went to Kevin Smith with my son? It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be – Combination of both. It's going to be both. But I think for the panel, I think it was it was nice just to enjoy – because I've never done the con experience, so I think this is like it was nice to just enjoy the con. I uh, I kind of peer pressured him a little bit into um, spending some more money on this because I was like, Dad, you got to get the VIP package. Like, do you, it's jersey, it's a bag, it's a coin. Like, it's literally everything you ever wanted out of the package that we can get now. Like, you have to get it. Like, I, oh my, this was. I, I'm still t- I'm trying to still I gotta tally up all the. The fun. You spent more than me. That's all I know. Barely. And absolutely I should. No, but you also had the fucking two dinners. I didn't even need dinner day one. Okay, I think you still spent more than me. I don't know. I because we both got a pizza, right? Nope. And then my forty dollars might might cancel that out. I think we're like that even. But amusing stories. Okay. Right. So I've listened to Jason and Muse for years. What is your like? You like him as an actor. Have you heard any of his like stories before this? Uh, no, I didn't even know he did a show. What do you think of his show? It's Jason Muse being Jason Muse. I mean, and and the co-host and everybody, you know. But 
were you, like, you, did you know it was going to be like, you know, uh, he's a little bit out there, like as a character, as like chronic, and right? But did like, were you aware like he was so like not like weirdly graphic, but funny graphic? Yes, I was aware, definitely. Yeah. Um, did, you're making a mess, but it's not my room. I'm sorry, that was rude. The of the three shows, if you had to put them in order, Clerks, Elizabeth. Muse. Muse, Clerks, Elizabeth. No offense, Elizabeth was great. She was. Um, but she was also running it solo, so, like... Like, if there's a Rosario Dawson on there, yeah. I would almost she go... On the panel. I'd almost go Shannon Elizabeth second. Um, O'Halloran was really... I, like, I really like O'Halloran, but... It was kind of, like... Very one-sided. I hated could... that everybody was like, I have a question for... Brian only and none of the other guests. I would have like because you know like they're there for you like right. I would have tried to been like, hey like this is a dumb question for right. example. Uh, you know, uh, what was your most fun part about Clerks filming Clerks three? And that's right. the question they can all answer. Right. And that's just a stupid like so like broad and they can, they all are so nice people and they're not going to be like. But okay. at least each one of them could have answered. Not just like a Brian uh, Clerks one. Right. Uh, two of them aren't even in it and then they pick a scene that Marilyn's not even in it I hate uh, Brian, uh, Kevin Smith on uh, Batman Beyond Fat Man Beyond he got to a point where he, he was doing Q&As where there was a rule that says you can only ask a question that the both of us can answer because there would be times where Mark Bernard is just sitting there for like an hour and a half not doing anything that's what I told you today I was like Man, I wish people appreciated Mark Bernard more. Oh, absolutely. I think he's a he's a gem. He's a, I don't he's think people gem. know he did Batman Beyond. Right? I don't think people know he did some of the what, didn't he do like a Star Wars comic recently? Or Dude, like, he's writing for he huge background in journalism, uh, wrote for uh, Entertainment Weekly, um, a couple of other places. The guy is a brilliant storyteller. And the guy knows how to write, like, a story. He's currently writing right now. Um, that's, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, he, he's wrote, he's written comics. There's a, a three-issue Darth Vader uh, Mace Windu comic that was done in, like, black and red, uh, white, black, and red, which looked fantastic. He did... Um, uh, there's a couple. You, he's written a handful of comics. Um, he directed a movie, a short film last year. He's got crowdfunded for a new one this year. Mark Bernard, and I think is fantastic. He's very uh, a nice uh, companion to the uh, Kevin Smith of the Batman Beyond. Podcast. So, I also like to say probably the. Second and third highlights of my night. Um, so, going back to the Beers and Muse panel, um, I had to ask. Oh, you asked the question too, yep. huh? I had to ask him a question. Um, I forget it now. Why am I forgetting? Oh, um, did I record that one? Nope. Sadly, I, I think you might have. Um, but the question was: um, as a father, you know, is he going to be like embarrassed at all about? Um, his older self, um, and are you scared of wondering that? And he is just so real everywhere. He's not fake to anybody. He is the exact same way he is with his kid. Uh, uh, he did mention that he was a little like shaky. Like his his movies, he's like whatever it is. It is um, real life. Yeah, that's was, when it gets scary. He was like, "How do I tell my kids that I was a huge drug addict for years?" 14 years sober, so congratulations uh-huh. to Jamie Hughes. On July 2nd. We've got neighbors, we've got a connecting door. All right, so after Muse. Nope, still during Muse, sorry. Okay, um, yeah. It was all quiet because he was doing like a drawing thing. You have to go to one of his shows to know what I'm talking about. Um, I just randomly yell at, you want to play Fortnite with me? And... Um, the co-host was like, yeah, how do you know he plays for? I like, I watched the Twitch yeah. and he's like, 
no. And Jay Mew's like, we'll definitely have to play. Um, so uh, he was obviously in the middle of something. I right. uh, got done. Made some money. Uh, that's what I'll say. Um, he auctioned off his picture. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then after the show, I was like, so how am I going to add you? And he's like, um, listen, just come to my booth and we'll talk about it. So uh, then I went to his booth immediately. It's the right. first thing we did. Wayne was like, we cannot let this thing fall apart. He's like, we have to go right now. So he said um, Monday night he's going to uh, be, <laughs> be streaming on Twitch. And I just have to type in chat. And then he'll he'll said he'll delete some people and, <laughs> um, so, and add me. So this is, the, this is fun because this is what you some have wanted for a while was to kind of play in like a higher like profile type of game right like you're, gonna, you're like how many people is the average on twitch i think i saw 500 last time that's not that bad check compared to us that's great right um you're gonna have your mic you have a mic on uh sometimes you play quiet but sometimes you don't I'll be nervous. That's what I'll say. Okay. I'll definitely, definitely be nervous. Um, are you going to be nervous about your gameplay or is that 1K, solid? 1K views. Nice. All right. It's a thousand views. If this blows up and like you guys are like killing it squads and he's like, you have to do this every Monday with me. Uh, I practice Monday, so no, thank you, Jay. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Gotta think about me. Like this is a. Um, Once the hand gets, all oh, are you gonna be able to play with your broken hand? Let's just say I'm like I'm a, I'm a trooper. Uh, I play pointer fingers. Okay. You think you're gonna do well? <laughs> no, um, but I don't really care. I don't know. I've seen you play Fortnite, man. You kill it. All right. So you gotta you got a, a date Monday. Um, Hopefully. I'm trying to think. There's no way to record it. I can record it. Can you? Uh huh. Would you record it if it looked okay? Can we put it up somewhere? I mean, all I have to do is just uh, click record, post it to uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is I know you can, but would you actually take the steps to do it? Because I like, I, am I going to? Is that what you mean? Like, are you going to record, and then if it turns out well, actually post it? Or are you just going to forget and just brush it off? Uh, I'll probably forget, honestly. I know you I'm, in the heat of, I'm in the heat of the moment. I'm playing with Jay Muse. Uh, you, you don't want it, you don't want the the recording of the... the he's going to be streaming on Twitch. So can I steal it off of Twitch? Uh, you can watch. You'll get copyrighted, if Probably. You know what? Never mind. I don't even care. I hope I hope you guys fucking kill it. He's think, saying that, but he's gonna watch that entire live stream. You know you are. You, you gotta remind me. Um, your son's gonna play with the guy that you've been looking up to and wanting to meet, and your son gets to play Fortnite with him. I don't even care anymore. Um, but I like like people are so nice here. I mean, this is probably my wrap up. No, we we did more, right? Yeah, there's a. I mean, we still have the, the evening with. We got like. Because we're amusing um, stories came upstairs. Say bye. We said bye to everybody. Um, uh, Jen, Jen Swabox, the nicest person, probably. Jen Swabox, awesome. Austin. Did we say what we tried to do? We got her business card. Did we say why? Uh, woman's, uh, every month you try to do a woman's. Uh, so we'd like to try to get uh, her onto the podcast. And she uh, actually related with us a lot. Oh, because uh, of her plus one. I did, you know, mention uh, her plus one. Because uh, it's the first time all three of them been, not the first time, but uh, recently it's the first time all three of them been on and they kind of had some fun antidotes and some stories about um, very relatable situations I have with uh, dinner at mom's. Dinner at mom's or a kid who doesn't want to come over and hang out as much. And, you know, because uh, Harley Quinn is like, I want to do my own thing. I want to go hang out with my own friends. Like exactly I what I. 
she's like, I'm in a band and I want to do that. I want to act. And Liam's like, I want to wrestle. Um, Jen so, was really nice. Uh, who else? Well, Brian Holland was nice when we said bye. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, uh, I keep calling her just Shannon. Uh, doesn't shake hands. She does not shake hands. I think it's probably uh, it's a quarantine thing because she's traveling back and forth across the countries. Which is, I don't really care. But then, yeah. uh, just uh, she was. I and it was, she really appreciated what what I said. Yeah, yeah that uh, I was like, I really uh, support what you're doing with animals and everything. Uh, Tommy Chung was here today. We didn't. Even, I didn't even see him at all. I saw him. I peeked through the curtain. I was like, oh. I well, we don't. Uh, you watch the movies, but you don't really idolize him like no. the others do, because you're not a pothead at all. Like, no, not, not at Dude, all. Dude, I'm like not even close. Like, I, I'm like, uh, I'm. We're the wrong pose. people to be here. I'm a poser pothead. Um. All right. So we said goodbye to everybody. We ran upstairs for a second. Uh, got our Kevin Smith, uh, Smith tickets. I sat down there and watched it last. So on the ground, waiting in line for evening. But it's really, it's um. They're going to post that evening with, so you guys will have to watch it yourself. Do you think they will? Yep, they are recording in the back. Um, but I don't know. He was talking about how important the recording was, especially in evening with. Remember, because the mic wasn't working. Right, right. And he was like, remember, for evening with, like, that has to be recorded. I just wonder if that's, like, uh, bonus material for that Kevin Smith Club, his Patreon. Oh, still, it's going to be out there. Okay. So you guys have to go out there, but some guy, I mean, this is the last thing I'll probably say – about the evening with, and then you can go ahead. Yeah. Um, this guy took up three questions. Dude, that guy fucking milked it. Made Kevin stand I, at um, because it was um, 430 movie question. He talked maybe for 30 minutes. Um, and then he asked some other question. I was on my phone at you that point. I was hijacked that question. Like, because you can tell Kevin was like, all right, I'm done now. Ask someone else. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa what about this? So, anybody who's ever listened to a Kevin Smith QA, can talk the for man, 12 hours. The man has this this gift where he can take the most basic question and give a very basic answer, but then he builds like the story and it'll go uh like one question was um what was it like or how did you get uh cast to catch and release a movie? And he he's it's the lady that casted him was also in red state. Um, and then she liked him, the experiences that he had with her on set, she was editing and like amazing the way that he can just like weave. I said that to you during uh, it. I was like, man, these people can all turn such dumb questions into good questions. Like, like, like if you cut that out and you're like, they must've asked a great question. Right. Like, when you hear the answer, you're like, oh, man, wonder what that question was. And you go back and you're like, it was the dumbest question I've ever heard in my life. You said I had a good question. Right. You did. You did have a good question. And I'm going to be reminded as the broken arm right. <laughs> wrestler kid. Um, you, you had very good questions. I helped you reward it a little bit to kind of keep it nice and tight. You had a note, and uh, I did have a question for Kevin. I guess we'll have to wait, hopefully. Um, the – there's a uh, – I like Kevin Smith. Like such a genuine guy too. What was nice is this evening with had a bunch of newer questions. And like you, you watched so many of these and you're actually there. So Yeah. Um it was exciting. It was fun. Uh after that, what was weird, because we because you ran out uh like four minutes early. You you had to go upstairs. You wanted ice because you wanted to keep your energy too yeah. cold. Um, and then on my way back from ice, there he was just right. Um, um, because he was again right down the, he's six doors down. It was amazing. So I was like, Did you, did you notice his room has a doorbell on it? Oh, trying to just go I'm like, no, I didn't. <laughs> um, no, um, but I was like, just like, I was like, I really appreciate your show. Uh, he's like, he's like, man, I love you. Uh, like, I appreciate you for coming out to your dad. I said hi, I'm like, we'll do, and then. <laughs> I was like trying to walk to my room, but they were like blocking kind of. So yeah. I was like trying to sneak through <laughs> and like, I'm like, I got to go back to my room. I got ice. Right. Um, then I got your, uh, then I just came back down. Right. 
<laughs> well, okay. So when we we so end of day one, we were streaming until like fucking two a.m. Because the after party, which is fine. It's great. I think they should have done it in the ballroom. They should have. But then tonight, the ballroom, like as soon as kept the what was it 10 o'clock, ten o'clock. Everybody left. No, like by the time we got down there, you came right back down and I started streaming, and there was nobody around. Not even a male. Well, Ming's at the club. So, and we had to go outside and we talked to a couple of people and we hung out for a minute. Uh, um, yeah. But it was nice. We did say we uh, shout out to the Baldwin uh, brothers, not twins. Um, yes, because I swear to God, they look like twins. There, I, uh, Dan Baldwin follows us now. Um, Liam helped me shoot a couple of uh, thank you videos for Kevin and the. Uh, guests and crew, so we're hoping to. Uh, He's got to post on Twitter because I, I put some. Uh, I put all the the so you guys can list see all the Chronicon footage on YouTube. There's a playlist for Chronicon. <laughs> some of the what else ha- which has happened some of the things look like there was one where it just completely cut out at one point like it was a it was a mess but it's all out there um i did put it together i did give it to kevin i sent him the, the link for it gave him a sticker gave him stickers um we did We've been we posted a bunch this weekend. You help me with some shorts. Um, I did the shorts, but you help me with the what should we call it? Live stream. The live streams, the stories. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a big Instagram help. So we've seen a bunch, like definitely big Instagram. I'm probably should be. We're not seeing a lot of like likes. We're seeing a grip of likes, a lot more views, like. I was looking at the numbers and because I post a lot already uh, for chasing the whimsy, um, like five days a week. I have something coming out seven days a week because you have your Saturday stream and you post yes, Saturday. Right? So I got all of those like we're already like 15,000 percent bit more like active views. than any shared unit. Oh, sorry, no, that was probably but, um, you know, YouTube is seeing a bunch of extra on the views, which is kind of nice that I like um, that. People are actually seeing it. Um, the numbers are still kind of going up a little bit. Because he chin. told me, he was like, like, this could be, um, this could be our, uh, I suck at talking, um, rise to fame. Like, this could really set us off. Like, um, because we got reposted by uh, Ming Chen. We got reposted by, uh, Ming posted us, actually, so you go look at the post. Um, Is that recent? Yeah, today. Okay. Um, Jay and Silent Bob reposted us. Um, I told you to do Instagram with Muse, and you didn't. Oh, but we know why. Right. Um, like, I'm trying to just give him a hard time. But hard time now. So I'm sorry. A lot of exposure. Like I don't love like like I'm hoping part, like something kind of helps close up. Thousand views. Six right. likes. For now. Uh, For your first. Oh yeah yeah. Um, so what's nice is nobody else was streaming. That's what killed it. They have the, the con guy, the, on the crew who was shooting. Who's that? Uh, Ming's friend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause, uh, Carnicon for real w- was posting stuff all day. And on Kevin's, they were posting for Kevin, right? But outside of that, nobody was podcasting. I didn't like. I'm sure other people were posting some things, but we had so much content out there. Um, I know Kevin's been super busy today uh, and this weekend, but I'm hoping at some point they they took they they look at all of the 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 social media and see that chasing the whimsy is out there just posting shit and like. And uh, after this, like I said, there I'll um, I'll do a highlight thing on yeah. this so he's able to see. Mm. So um, a lot of really fun exposure, and even if we can get Austin to come on, Jen, um, Jen is our my big goal. Jen to come on, um, Shannon Elizabeth, I, I bet you she would come on. 
Um, Liam did say that um, a couple of these uh, interviews, he would actually help me do some research and kind of read up a little bit. Um, and we would remember minor leagues, guys. What did I say yesterday? Right. We're, 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 we're entering we're, the big leagues. You want to go fucking triple crown? Boré? <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I love it when I try to do sports analogies. Oh, so I'll good. give you my, everything I got from Chronicon if you tell me what um, Triple Crown means. I got nothing. Okay. Uh, I, this episode's pushing right around like a buck 20. Overall, what do you think? Glad you came? Not for sure. Is there anything that you wish you... Could have done saved up money for my for myself. Um, I, we didn't even mention your your my my peer pressuring skill right. at its finest. Um, I'll probably bring this up real quick on the live stream on Monday. So here's where I think the flaw is in this particular type of con. Okay, you go to Comic Con, right? You have. The, so, the 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 economy of a con, of a like a San Diego Comic Con, right? Is you have, you have hundreds of different artists and comic books, right? And and a dozen different fandoms, right? So you go to Comic Con, you're like, I'm only gonna like I'm gonna see everybody. Fairies, com- uh, comic book, right. Marvel, DC. Uh... Right, you're gonna see everything, but you're only going to buy signatures from like three or four people the problem here with this con is you want signatures from every single person like you're looking at like 90 percent of the people here you want something from and that i think is the problem i don't think a lot of people realized yet is when you budget to go like you would have spent maybe the same amount ish maybe a little less if you went to a regular comic con but you would have seen like so much significantly less this is also just one universe. Yeah. Um, so the I'll, yeah, can we get can we get a picture with Jen? Can we get right? And because it's like it's not just a like it's it's weird. And only today did I realize that's where it gets lopsided. Is it's not a con of like I want some signatures. It's I want all signatures. All of it. Because I had the stupid book. I mean, listen, 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 though, I'm proud because um, Trevor said the next one will be uh, Mall Rats themed, not Clerks. We don't know. Who knows? So he said uh, he's probably going to be inviting him out. And he said, <laughs> Trevor's a nice guy as well. Um, he's just like, I get the invite and I come. So <laughs> um, overall, very great weekend. Um, we'll probably talk about this for at least another week. So this is kind of just a nice general in hotel room. Nice wrap up. This look, up is for, a th- uh, look out for uh, Wednesday too. We don't know for sure, but I'm just saying that's probably the. What am I going to do Wednesday? Never mind then. Never know. Well, no, because that's what I, I think we're just going to do one long episode. Two hours long. Uh, this is like a buck twenty. Talking about the other one, we're going to do when we get home. If we do another one, because we're going to be it's fifty fifty. If either one of us are going to be awake long enough to <laughs> record anything when we get home, um, but. Uh, worst case, next week we'll do a little bit. We'll we'll take a couple of notes. We'll go deep dive um, a little bit more. Oh, what I think I thought we could do is what I'll do is um, I'll go through some of the live streams and I'll pull out um, yeah some favorite moments and stuff. Maybe we live stream that episode because oh, um, I can just keep the live stream up. Yeah. And then just uh, making hay. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted making hay. So didn't go as planned, but as we thought. But yeah, it, was, it worked out. It worked out. It, it's it's good. Um, we should get at least another week and a half worth of content out of this. So uh, you guys have a good rest of the night. And can uh, finally, say whimsy. Whimsy.